Welcome to NumPy series. Today we will start with more basic functions which are basically on reductions. So without wasting any time, let's start a topic. So first is np.sum. Here we have array of numbers. If we apply np.sum and will give a variable to this, it will sum up all the values and give you an output. This we can represent through np.sum as well as we can also write the variable in which we have array of numbers dot sum through this also we can get the sum of numbers and it this is a basic reduction of the numbers we got in input we can also calculate it by axis as well as we have here one one two two if it is asked axis is equal to zero Axis is equal to zero is column wise. Column wise, one plus two is three, and one plus two is three. So here we got array of three three. When it is asked, axis is equal to one, then we will calculate by row. So here axis is equal to one will be two four. So in x is equal to one, we can write two comma four. Now, if we need to calculate the min, we want minimum number in an array. So we can simply give np dot array in a variable, and we can ask them x dot min. So here, whatever minimum value will be there, it will get calculated. Similarly, in max, it will give the maximum value as its output. Now. Argmin. Argmin is somewhat. If we have an array five, eight, nine, two, six. So here minimum value is two. But arg indicate its index. Whatever value we have been given as minimum, its index will be as index starts from zero, zero, one, two, three, four. So arg. Indicates to the index of minimum number, so it will be given as three. Now, if it asked argmax, argmax is whatever maximum value we have, its index, so it will be two. As our maximum number is nine, so index will be two. Now we will see logical operations. Logical operation we have all, all in array we have true, true, false, true. All indicates. To the logical and operation, whereas any indicates or operation. So here, in and, if any one of them it will be false, the output will be false. Whereas in any, any one will be in true, it will give true. Now let's see its implementation. Here we have np dot zeros hundred cross hundreds. That means all value will be here zero. And that to hundred cross hundred. Np dot any a not equal to zero. If any of its number here a is not equal to zero, all values here are zero. So not equal to zero can't be possible. That's why it will give false. Now here it is asking np dot all a is equal to a. A is zero over here. That means every A is zero. So A is equal to A. Yes. So it will return true. Now let's see one more implementation where we have A is equal to an array one, two, three, two. Similarly for B also. And here it is asking for this expression. So we will divide it. First we will calculate. A smaller than equal to B, so here we will make an array. One is smaller than two, true. Two is smaller than equal to two is equal to true. Three is equal to three. Two is equal to two. So here we got all the values as true. Now we will see B smaller than equal to C. So we will write here C as well. Six four four five. 
Now 2 is smaller than 6. True. 2 is smaller than 4. True. 3 is smaller than 4. True. 2 is smaller than 5. True. So we got true. Now when true and true, true. So all true will be there. Now it is asking for dot all. So here we will calculate for dot all. So here for true, we will get true only. As all calculates for and. So here we have seen with the help of numpy, we can calculate in single line. Otherwise we have to write a long code using if condition and then for loop, there will be a 3 to 4 line of code in Python. So NumPy makes programming so easy. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. subscribe.